Oof. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Enrique and this is Easy Things to Draw. This is uh, actually an advice video, um, per se. I don't know what, whether to call these um, advice videos or maybe like focus, focus point videos. I'm just going to go over kind of one concept uh, I just want to focus on. Uh, because there's a lot of little things that I don't repeat uh, that kind of get lost in the shuffle. Let me see, I need a better pen. This is, um, this is, uh, well, let me tell you the point of the video. The point of the video is I want to talk to you about the concept of, uh, when you kind of learn one aspect of art, uh, the kind of learning curve is much better for you when you kind of start learning new things. Uh, this, you know, I've done a dinosaur drawing video. Uh, what I'm doing is that sometimes when, sometimes when you just don't draw something for like a while, you almost kind of, you gotta, you know, you're gonna have to uh, practice that thing again. You almost kind of forget how to draw it because you haven't drawn it for a while. So I'm doing as I'm going over the uh, Triceratops heads, and I'm, I'm just drawing a bunch of them. This is actually my uh, junkie sketchbook, my the junkiest of the junkie. I won't even show you this one. It's garbage. Um, by that I mean, and I've talked about this on the sketchbook uh, video, on some of the other ones when I complete a sketchbook. Normally I have a sketchbook that I show people. And that would be one that I try to work on stuff, and I, I kind of take care in a way of like what I'm doing when I'm doing it, and I, I make it like almost presentable, right? Even though there is there is experimentation and ideas in the, in a sketchbook, there is uh there is that kind of like you know uh you know I'll just tear that page out if it really sucks, you know. Um, this one is one of the junkiest ones I have, and this is actually one I had in um this is one I had in uh, I believe I had it in junior college I took a class I took a, I took a sculpting class not sculpting a ceramics class actually and I just kind of used it for notes they told us to get one and this has become my junk one and again I'm not gonna go through it because it's garbage <laughs> and I literally go through it's almost like scratch paper uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going over my notes of how to draw a triceratops in terms of like the measurement and things of that sort and then I start drawing it over and over and over again, like see if I could do it without trying to like looking directly at those notes. Uh, and just kind of go over and over again. But the learning curve is easy. You know, I could probably I could like bring this back in my my brain really quick. You know, very quick uh, because I've already kind of learned how to learn, right? Uh, I you know that concept of learning how to learn. Uh, you know, if, like I said, if like I know the structure of this, uh, and I can just pick up another structure, practice that over and over and over again, get that into my brain, and then uh, you know just start. I have that from now on, at least for the next you know few months uh, in my brain for a while. I could draw it, uh, but like mostly, I want you to think that you don't have to start from scratch. Uh, this came up because I had a conversation with a friend, and they assume like. Uh, if I've never drawn like, uh, you know, like a car or like a beaver or, you know, what I mean, just any particular object. If I've never drawn that before, people assume that you have to kind of start from scratch. You know what I mean? It's almost like this uphill battle every time you learn something new. Uh, if things are close enough, they're going to be a lot easier to draw. For example, drawing this really reminds me of drawing like a cow, you know? A lot, and by the way, just in case you, you someone's gonna ask this, I know it. They're gonna say, "Go over how to draw a triceratops." Not, you know, there will be a video. Like I mean, within the next week, within the next week, I will have a video how to draw what I'm doing. These are just my notes for me to kind of hammer out. You know what I mean? Uh, you know. So, but like I said, I never show this. It's kind of weird that I even showing this at all on camera. Um, but anyway, so don't worry about that. There will be a triceratops video on this subject, just like the T-Rex one I had. I'm gonna have like a dinosaur week. I'm kind of prepping that. Um, so what I was going to say, uh, lost my train of thought, but yeah, it's not, it's not an uphill battle every time. This reminds me of a cow, very similar system, uh, a lot of organic things, right? Humans to animals, animals to humans, four-legged, you know, they're very, very similar. Some of the backgrounds are a little bit more difficult because they, they kind of incorporate, uh, they incorporate, uh, you know, perspective, but you know, 
it, this is it's pretty much you know you can learn these things very very quickly if like I said you've already learned kinda how to draw one thing you know if you already learn how to draw one thing systematically and through you know kind of a formulaic way and you've done your homework on that one thing whatever it is like an eye or a car or whatever you know what I mean if you've already done that you're probably gonna draw I don't know an eagle or you know what I mean you can probably learn that stuff really quick like I mean really really quick like way quicker than someone who just started uh, you know who's never done that They're like how do I draw this wing like what it's almost gonna be like magic you know it's almost gonna be like whoa I can do that now like what or I've never drawn this and somehow I'm drawing it okay you know you'll find that um, so don't really be too stressed out about it um, you know cuz like the person I was talking to about it seemed really uh, kind of stressed and freaked out about it and like I said drawing is a lot of work but it's really rewarding and like I said it starts to starts to snowball in your favor the more you learn the more you learn the more you're learning more things the more you're picking stuff up it will kind of snowball in your favor um, so don't worry about it okay just don't stress out it's cool you don't have to learn everything from the ground up every time you know what I mean you learn one thing and you're gonna be much better at learning many other things within art and painting and stuff like that uh, so that's pretty much it I wanted to highlight that uh, that notion and uh, there you go hopefully it relaxes you a little bit that's pretty much it. Uh, also, uh, I am coming out with that video still. I'm coming out with a video program. It's called the 22 Steps of uh, Becoming a Better Artist. And it's all, all it is are things like what I just said. It's 22 things, uh, for example, they're concepts, they're, they're frameworks, they're kind of ideas to put into practice within your drawing. And they will help you. You know, they will definitely help you. And, um, you know, they're things that I didn't know when I was coming up and that I know now in hindsight you know because like I said before I've heard that you know you've heard me say this when I started drawing I would see some people just really get stuck and some people just accelerate and we had the same training right we had the same training and it seems like a lot of people put in kind of put in the time too but there's just a few people that just got ahead and I was trying to figure out why they got ahead and it took me a long time to to kind of figure out what it was um, like it took me a long time and it's almost a weird because I almost feel like I wasn't ready but anyways I put in my opinion what those 22 things are and I put them on a list and I put them on a website uh, it is not out yet but sign up for it sign up for the email list and I will let you know when uh, when it comes out I barely send emails so don't worry about it <laughs> I gotta actually start I gotta get like an email list up because I do have like a really t like really really slow email list I only, I only like message once every two three months or something like that so uh, but yeah join the email list and when it comes out I will let you know by email uh, so check it out and I'll see you guys in the next video so see you next week